Economics of Washington. What is the gross domestic product or GDP of the state of Washington? The state of Washington's GDP hit $577.2 billion in 2022, up 3.6% from the year before. Washington's GDP has increased to an annualized pace of 1.6% over the five years until 2022. The state of Washington has had the second highest GDP growth rate in the United States during the past five years. Gross state product, also known as GDP, measures the state's economic production by tallying the value added by all of its industries. It's a standard metric for gauging the prosperity of a given state. Where does the most money come from in Washington state, and what are the biggest industries there? Curious to know more? Well, stay tuned for that. Hello there everyone, and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Having said that, let's get on with it. The main industries by revenue in Washington are software publishing, hospitals, and new car dealers, which generated $64.4 billion, $33.5 billion, and $27.1 billion respectively in 2022 with 85,000, 44,782, and 36,491 employees respectively in 2022, Amazon.com Inc., Microsoft Corporation, and the University of Washington were the top three employers in Washington. If you were to break down Washington's GDP into the industry, what would you find? In 2022, 48.3% of Washington's GDP came from the information, real estate and rental and leasing, and retail trade industries. GDP trends by sector are useful for gauging not only which industries are growing rapidly in a state, but also how the state economy is changing over time. What is the employment situation in Washington state? In 2022, about 40% of Washington's workforce was engaged in health care and social assistance, retail trade and information. Understanding how employment is changing across industries can provide light on how quickly some parts of the economy are expanding or decreasing in comparison to the rest of the state's economy. In what ways are evolving employment patterns influencing the state of Washington? Washington will be the 15th most populous state in 2022 with 3,646,555 workers. Washington's job market grew 2.7% a year from 2012 through 2022, behind the national average of 3.7%. Healthcare and social assistance employed 521,532 in 2022, followed by retail and information. Washington's 4.9% unemployment rate in 2022 ranks 49th among the 50 states. Washington's unemployment rate has trended down by 1.1% from 2012 to 2022, trailing the U.S. economy. Employment trends can indicate an economy's health and labor market tightness or slack. Lower unemployment rates indicate tight labor markets, whereas faster employment growth indicates a robust economy. How much disposable income does the average Washingtonian have? The Disposable Personal Income, or DPI, or Disposable Income Per Capita, is the average amount of money left over after paying income taxes in a country. Washington's DPI in 2022 was $60.6,000 compared to the U.S. average of $56.6,000, which positions at 21st out of all 50 U.S. states. Because changes in disposable income reflect the level of aggregate demand, the health of the labor market, and the stability of household finances, it's widely considered a leading economic indicator. What can we learn about the health of a state's economy from looking at construction trends there? When compared to the other states in the United States, Washington comes in at number 7 in terms of its non-residential construction spending in 2022 at a whopping $5.2 billion. In 2022, Washington ranked 11th in residential construction spending at $252.7 million. There was an annual increase of 4.7% from 2017 to 2022, with a total of 55,907 building permits issued in Washington. The construction industry is vital to a country's economy because it generates jobs, wages, and taxes. In addition, the construction industry supply chain includes other industries like manufacturing, wholesaling, warehousing, transportation, real estate, rental, and leasing services. 
So building tendencies are useful barometers of economic growth. Which Washington counties have the most residents? King County, Pierce County, and Snohomish County are the three most populous counties in Washington, with respective 2020 populations of 2,325,011, 935,275, and 849,172. This is it, everyone. So what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.